Hi guys, this is Sunil Gupta, Information Security Specialist and I'm going to give you training on Certified Ethical Hacking. Welcome to Certified Ethical Hacking class. I have 5 years plus experience in ethical hacking and penetration testing. I work for world's top most IT companies as an ethical hacker and penetration tester. In this course, we'll teach you ethical hacking from the very basic level to advanced level, step by step. After taking this course, you can easily appear for the Global Certified Ethical Hacking Program with confidence. Uh, now I'm showing you the exact curriculum of CHE version 9 course. Here you can see we have 18 models. The first one is Introduction to Ethical Hacking. The second module covers information gathering and footprinting. The third part is about scanning networks. Here we discuss about how to find open ports in a network. The fourth module is about numeration. Numeration is deep level scanning. In system hacking part, I will teach you how to use Kali Linux and some other tools in Windows for hacking purpose. In malware threats, we discuss about virus, worms, threats, etc. In the seventh module sniffing, I will teach you about some practicals on Wireshark, Connables, etc. In social engineering, you get some idea to handle your target verbally. In denial of service, it, it simply means flooding a network or how you could deface or down a website. Session hijacking means hijacking Facebook, Gmail, Yahoo session, etc. from your target. Next module is about web server hacking. There we will discuss about hacking web applications, SQL injection, wireless network hacking, mobile platform hacking, evading IDs, firewalls, and honeypots cloud computing and even cryptography model. If you are really interested about hacking, here you get the full two hours free course curriculum. Check it out. And for getting the premium access of the course, click on the link above. I hope to see you. Enjoy the session. Certified Ethical Hacker Track. Now, first of all, the start one, is, then second, attend training. I'm giving you training. The third one is prepare for exams. So in this training, you can also prepare for exam. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some uh, PDFs or PPTs so that you can prepare them. Then you have to take exam. Okay. And the final one is you can get certification of CEH. CEH exam information. Exam title is Certified Ethical Hacker. Exam code is this. The number of, total number of questions in CHV9 exam is 125 and the duration is 4 hours exam. The passing score, minimum passing score is 70%. So you have to clear this exam if you have achieved 70% in your exam. What does CES teach you? Defense Cisco security firewalls, IDS locks, networks, denial of service, trojans, worms, wakers, social engineering, etc. What CEH is not? So I'm going to clear what is CEH and what CEH is not. CEH is not a network security training program. CEH is not a security analyst training program. CEH is not a security testing program. CEH is 101% network offensive training program. Means I'm going to show you attack on a network on a website. I'm not going to teach you a defensive part of this. Okay, so let's focus on our curriculum. See you in next video. Thank you. Hi guys, this is Sunil Gupta and you are learning certified ethical hacking. In our previous video, I have showed you our curriculum of certified ethical hacker version 9 course. We have 18 modules. Okay, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some introduction about certified ethical hacking like uh, remember this the certified ethical program teaches you 100% network offensive training and not defensive okay so keep this in your mind <clears throat> next is what is ch class speed ch class speed is extremely fast paced okay So the students are required to practice with the tools not demonstrated in the class on their own. In, these, in this training, I'll show you how you can hack some websites, how you can hack networks, 
by using some different different techniques like SQL injection, like accesses, by using open port, etc. For a lab, you have to install in your system, first of all, VMware. On, on VMware, you have to install two machines. First is Windows 7 and the second one is Kali Linux. Got it? Like this. Check if your machine has the following OSs installed. We don't want these all OSs, but I recommend Windows 7 and Kali Linux on VMware or VirtualBox. As you can see here, there are some websites given by EC Council. So we will hack websites, but in ethical way, not in an ethical way. Because this course relates to certified ethical hacker. Okay, let's start hacking. Thank you. See you next video. Hi guys, this is Suril Gupta and you are learning certified ethical hacking course. In our previous videos, I have shown you our curriculum and some introduction part of our ethical hacking. Now I'm giving you and I'm showing you some terminologies regarding hacking. You should know these terminologies as you are learning certified ethical hacking course. Okay, so first of all, what is hacking? If somebody asked you after this training, what is hacking? So how you will explain him or her? So let's read it. Hacking refers to exploiting system vulnerabilities and compromising security controls to gain unauthorized or inappropriate access to system resources, right? But there are some terms like exploiting vulnerabilities are there. So you should know what is vulnerability and you should know what is exploit. Vulnerabilities means you can also note down this in your notes. Vulnerabilities means weakness of a system. In a system means it can be a machine, it can be a human, means there are some vulnerabilities inside us like emotions, etc. In a system, there are some vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities like open ports. Okay, unpatched softwares, etc. Exploitation means we are using some methods to penetrate or to intrude in a system. That is called exploiting. Got it? Next is what is or who is a hacker? The first is in intelligent individuals with excellent computer skills with the ability to create and explore into the computer software and hardware, right? Second one is for some hackers, hacking is a hobby, means they take it as a hobby part. The third one is their intention can either be to gain knowledge or to poke around to illegal things, okay? So don't be the third one, be the first one to increase your knowledge or to explore into computer software and hardware. There are some hacker classes like black hats, white hats, gray hats, and etc. So what is black hat? Black hat means black hats hackers do only illegal things. They don't do in ethical way. So they are illegal actually. White hats means they do only legal part like us we are white hats gray hats means they do both like legal and illegal suicide hackers means individuals who aim to bring down critical infrastructure for a cause and now are not worried about facial jail terms and key other punishments okay so they don't afraid of jail and punishments they just want to hack the system Fripities means like the hackers who only know the tools they don't know the logic behind the process. That, that is scripted. 
cyber terrorist we all know about cyber terrorist the the political beliefs to create fear by large scale disruption state sponsored hackers means hackers belongs to government activist means those who promote hacking on facebook linkedin and other social networks <coughs> Now I'm, now I'm going to show you what is vulnerability assessment. So what is vulnerability? Vulnerability, we, we know the vulnerability is weakness. So, and vulnerability assessment means it is an examination of the ability of a system, including current security procedures and control to withstand assault. Means we are finding some vulnerabilities or some weakness in a system. That process is called vulnerability assessment. I will like you can see here that identify weakness that could be exploited. There are some types of vulnerability assessment like active, passive, host based, internal, internal, external, etc. <coughs> By using network vulnerability, we can find some uh, network topology of the system or what type of server web server they are using so that we can exploit the server we can hack that server by using our hacking techniques and what is penetration testing penetration testing is the method of evaluating the security of information system or network by simulating an attack va means vulnerability assessment vulnerability assessment vulnerability assessment is find weakness in a system penetration testing means using the those vulnerabilities to intrude or to hack a system that is called penetration testing i have defined you in a simple definition yeah. why pen testing is necessary for an organization so that organization can find the weakness in their own network that's why ethical hackers are necessary in our industry that's why ethical hackers are getting more payments than any other field got it so this is our introduction part of certified ethical hacker class i hope you enjoyed the class thank you see you in next video hi guys this is sunil gupta and you are learning certified ethical hacking in this video i'm going to teach you some more terminologies regarding ethical hacking as you can see there are Two terminologies one is blue teaming and second one is red teaming so what is blue team and red team and what they do in the company let's learn it so first of all blue teaming an approach where a set of security responders perform analysis of information security system to access the adequacy and efficiency of its security controls blue team has access to all organization resources and, and information uh, so basically blue team does va VA means vulnerability assessment means to find vulnerability means weakness in a system so blue team does VA part in a company and there is another team in the company which is a red team so uh, what they do let's learn an approach where a team of ethical hackers performs pen testing of an information system or a very limited access to the organization's internal resources so it means it is clear that blue team does va part vulnerability assessment means it finds vulnerabilities and the red team uses those vulnerabilities to hack or exploit in the system so what do you think which team is better blue team or red team in intelligence in skills I tell you, the red team is better than blue team because blue team only find vulnerabilities, but red team uses those vulnerabilities to exploit in the system. Okay, so the red team is better. Let's go ahead. Types of pen testing. We have learned types of hackers: white hackers, black hat hackers, gray hat hackers, suicide hackers, cyber terrorist hackers, etc. Now, what are the types of penetration testing in the network? There are three types of penetration testing. One is black box, second one is white box, and the third one is gray box. Black box testing means I have no knowledge of your company's network. 
okay and i am doing testing of your network that is called black box means no prior knowledge of infrastructure second one is white box white box means complete knowledge of a network means i am in your company's network and i am doing vapt vulnerability assessment and penetration testing of your company so i have complete knowledge like i have no ips i know the mac addresses i know host names i know your servers i know your switches routers firewalls ids ips etc gray box means limited knowledge of your network like i have i know your ip addresses but i don't know your firewalls or what type of servers you have in your company so that is called gray box okay so remember this white box black box and gray box are types of penetration testing hi guys this is sunil gupta and we are learning certified ethical hacking our second module is footprinting and reconnaissance as per our training schedule in this module you will learn how to gain or gather information about the target if you have any website or if you have any ip or network ips then you can gain information about that network or about that website so what is footprinting as you can see the footprinting is the process of collecting as much as information as possible about a target network for identifying various ways to intrude into an organization's network system footprinting is the first step of any attack on net information systems attacker gathers publicly available sensitive information like no security posture reduce focus area identify vulnerabilities and draw network map etc Now, what are the objectives of footprinting? There are three objectives of footprinting: like collect network information, collect system information, and collect organization information. Collecting in network information, like the other domain name, internal domain names, network blocks, IPs, services, etc. In system information, grab system banners, usernames, group names. routing tables information about ports etc collect organization information gather information about employees organization's website company directories location details addresses phone numbers etc <coughs> what are the methodolo methodologies to gain information about a target like you can search your target through search engines two advanced google hacking techniques to social networking sites website footprinting email footprinting dns network footprinting and etc we will learn these methodologies by using practicals in next sessions like footprinting using through search engines as you can see attackers use search engines to extract information about a target such as technic technology platforms employee details login pages internet portals etc so we will also use some websites to gather information in some next videos i hope you have learned what is footprinting and reconnaissance thank you see you in the next video hi guys this is sunil gupta and uh, here i am showing you the pen testing report of footprinting step as you can see here that this is a pen testing report of footprinting which is divided into some titles or subtitles as you can see information obtained through competitive intelligence information obtained through who is footprinting information footprinting to dns footprinting information obtained through network footprinting or social engineering so footprinting is the process what is the summary of module footprinting is the process of collecting as much as information as possible about the target network for ident identifying various ways to intrude in the organization's network system it reduces attacker's focus area to specific range of ip addresses networks domain names remote access etc means if you gather information in your first step then it will be very easy for you to proceed attackers use search engines to extract information about target use google bing the search engines to gather information about your target
attackers use social engineering tricks to gather information like LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus, etc. So attacker conduct trace route to extract information about network topologies. So we will do these practicals in our later videos of footprinting process. But so the final summary of footprinting is from my side is to gather information as much as possible about your target network. Suppose if I give you a name like me, Sonil Gupta, and I said that find me on internet or anywhere. So first of all, you will uh, visit facebook.com or linkedin.com or some other social networking websites to gather information about me. So that is called footprinting and reconnaissance, information gathering. Now in our next videos, we will do some practicals. We will do practicals on some websites or how you can gather information about your target. Thank you. See you in the next video. Hi guys, this is Sandal Gupta. And in this video, we will do some practicals on footprinting. Here I'm opening Google and I'm typing who is as you can see there are so many domains of who is in which I'm selecting the real who is domain which is who dot is and let's open it it is so who dot is is real who is website by using this website you can search information about a website like if I want to know website about website like www dot xyz.com who dot is is searching information in its database and uh, retrieving here so as you can see the registrar info so xyz.com is registered on fabulous.com private limited the referral URL is here. You can see the web URL. This website was registered on 1994 and this website registration expires on 2018-15. Here you can see the registry and contract information. The name is domain hotmaster. Address this, the city, state, postal code, country australia we can also see some phone numbers and here it is a mail of the company so here we are gaining information about xyz.com as i have mentioned or I have, I have explained that gaining information about target is called footprinting so in this practical we are gaining information about the target if we click on diagnostics you can see diagnostic will ping and trace route on our website this is a captcha so i have to bypass it first of all Here you can see the website is pinging here you can see the website is pinging xyz.com here it is okay and here it is doing trace route in this website trace route means how the we are approaching to website server so it is showing the path between this computer, my computer, to the web server. Okay, so this is who dot is web website. By using this tool or by using this website, you can search the information about any website 
in this world. I hope you got my point. We will do some practicals in the, in the next videos. Thanks. See you in the next video. Hi guys, this is Sunil Gupta. And in the last video, we have learned how you can use Whois. In this video, I'm going to show you some other websites. By using those websites, you can gain more and more information about your target. Here it is Google. And I'm typing a website, pipl.com. Here it is, pipl.com for people search. Click here. Here it is. Here, the PIPL is demanding name, email, username, or phone number of your target. And here, the location of your target. Suppose here I am typing Mark. Here I am typing. New York. So this website will send you every mark who is living in New York, United States. As you can see here, the list of mark. If you want to find Mark Joffe more specifically, and click here. So you can see the all Mark Joffe profile in this website. <clears throat> the speciality of the website is this website gathers information from all social networks like facebook.com, linkedin.com, Twitter, and other social networking websites and gather these informations on a single platform. So if you want to find some personality, then you have to use people.com. And if you want to find get information about some domain or some website, then use who is, which I have mentioned in your last video. <clears throat> Here you can select the all locations. Like if I select New York and Pennsylvania, so it will show me the mark which is related to New York and Pennsylvania. So here I can sort my searching in people.com. I hope you understand how you can use people.com to gain information about personalities or people. So if someone is doing R&D about any person, so don't use Facebook or LinkedIn separately. Use people.com and search that person here. 99% surely you will find yourself on people.com. That's the specialty of people.com. I hope you got my point. Thank you. See you in the next video. Hi guys, this is Sunil Gupta and we are proceeding to our fifth module and the most important module of CEH version 9 course, which is system hacking. We have learned introduction, footprinting, scanning, enumeration, and now we are learning system hacking. Security breaches 2014, Department of for Business Innovation and Skills Market Survey. 58% of large organizations suffered staff related security breaches. 60% of small business had a security breach. 31% of some of the worst security breaches were actually caused by inadvertent human error. So information at hand before system hacking stage. Yes, we have learned footprinting. We have learned scanning, how you can target a system, how you can find open boards, how you can scan your network and enumeration how you can get user lists how you can get an adverse enumeration or NTP enumeration or SNMP enumeration now system hacking goals there are five stages in hacking it is the important question asked in an interview that what are the stages of hacking there are five stages first is gaining access 
second is escalating privileges third is executing applications fourth is hiding files and the fifth one is covering tracks gaining access means to bypass access controls or to hack a system in simple language like password cracking social engineering escalating privileges means to <clears throat> increase the right on a system like if you have hacked as a non-admin user so try to be admin of the system that is called escalating privileges executing application means install the .exe files like trojans viruses worms etc hiding files means hiding some malicious files to get information from computer like rootkits stack and graphy covering tracks means just hiding just hide or clear your presence on the computer locks clearing locks but that is called system hacking goals ch hacking methodology chm footprinting done scanning is done enumeration is done now system hacking and we have five steps in system hacking like gaining access maintaining access clearing locks hiding files and covering tricks so this is the introduction of system hacking part in some next videos we will learn how we can proceed to system hacking or how we can hack a uh, windows 7 8 or 10 by using some tools how we can hide our files in a system by using rootkit and steganography and some other interesting tools are also available in system hacking part i hope you have understand the introduction of system hacking and the explanation are in the some other next videos hope you are learning thank you and see you in the next video hi guys this is sonal gupta and you are learning certified ethical hacking course now we will learn how to attack passwords and what are the types of password attacks we have four types of password attacks non-electronic active passive and offline non-electronics means if the attacker does not contain or does not possess technical knowledge active means attacker performs password cracking by directly communicating with the victim passive means without communicating with the party and offline means just copy that password file and try to hack it from another computer here you can see in the right side here there are three Terms. So shoulder surfing, social engineering, dumpster diving. These are really important terms. Shoulder surfing means if you are typing your password and somebody is, is watching from your behind, that is called shoulder surfing. Social engineering means manipulate somebody by using verbally. Like somebody has called you and asked your ATM pin. That is called social engineering. And dumpster diving means find some important details, important documents from your bin or from your dust bin. That is called dumpster diving. Active online attacks, there are three types, dictionary, brute force and rule based. A dictionary file is loaded into the cracking application and that runs against user accounts. Brute force means just make some combination of passwords and try to attack on the portal on the password page rule base means if you know some part of password but don't know the whole password and make directory according to it or make dictionary according to it that is called active online passwords a default passwords default password is a password supplied by the manufacturer with new equipment that is passwords suppose you have you have purchased a router from cisco so maybe cisco has assigned this router I use the name admin admin and you have not changed it in your network so if somebody wants to hack your network the attacker will use the default password admin and admin to hack your router active online attack trojans spywares and keyloggers trojans means when you download some software from internet generally trojans download from internet. Trojans means Trojans like parasites means they want an innocent file so that they can connect with the innocent file or that they can stick with the innocent file 
and run in the background in your computer spyware means as the name continues spyware means spy means these softwares will hide in your pc keylogger means keylogger is a software and hardware that can be installed in your computer if you have installed keylogger in your computer then if you press a b c d or facebook.com or any password the keylogger will grab that keystrokes there is a there is a very important keylogger idmx keylogger i have used it and we will also use it in our practical session that how you can use keylogger to grab the keystrokes of our keyboard <coughs> there are some hash injection attacks also available in the okay some passive like wire sniffing, packet sniffing, man in the middle attack, rainbow table attacks are also available in market. Alcoms of distributed password recovery is also available to recover your passwords. I hope you have learned about password cracking methodologies and types of password cracking and brute force attack, rule based attack, dictionary attacks. Are available to crack your passwords. These are the theories of password cracking. Thank you. The next is Microsoft Authentication. In Microsoft Authentication, there is a SAM file in your computer. Security Account Manager is the full form of SAM database. Uh, in simple ways, if I explain, there is a file, SAM file, in your C folder, in your C drive, which stores username and password of your Windows. How hash passwords are stored in Windows SAM? In SAM file, your window password is stored encrypted or in hash form. Uh, as you can see here, like there's if the username is Sheila, the password is this hashed and the hash algorithm is ntlm and i will show you the sam file in my pc that the path is explained here c windows system 32 config and sam so let's let's open it here is c we are going to windows and then find system 32 then config here we go we have sam it is you cannot open the sam file why microsoft has did that because sam file contains the username and password of your windows if you open it then you can change this then anybody can change your password if they have access to your computer so microsoft doesn't allow anybody to open even admin cannot open the sam file you cannot edit you cannot delete the sam file of your pc which stores your username and password what is password sorting password sorting is a technique where random string of st characters are added to the password before calculating their hashes suppose if your password is one two three four five then windows will add seven eight nine zero to your password so that a different hash can be calculated suppose somebody have hacked your sam file and extracted the hash password from that and decrypted that password so he or she can get the original password that's why password sorting can be done or by using password sorting the hashes are different from password that's why if somebody has hacked your hashes he or she cannot get the original password that's why password sorting is effective there are some tools pw dump and fg dump to crack the password tools means to hack sam file we have some tools loft crack and oph crack i will give you a practical of oph crack in my pc to crack the sam file 
hashes. There are some other tools available, can enable and rainbow crack. Okay. Password cracking tools are available in market. John the Ripper is important. Okay. There are some other tools are also available. So you know the passwords of your Windows are saved in M5. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to crack pass password of from mobile, there are some tools for mobile also, like Flexi Spy Password Grabber. How to defend against password cracking? Just enable information security audit. Do not use the same password. Use the bigger length of your password. Now we have done that how you can crack a password, what are the types of password cracking and how you can use how mask Microsoft uses SAM file in your computer. I hope you have learned what is SAM file because it was important. In the next video I will show you a different file which is host file in your computer and how it works. You will see in the next video. Thank you. Hi guys, this is Sunil Gupta and uh, we are learning Certified Ethical Hacking version 9. Our module is System Hacking. In previous videos, we have learned some terminologies, some files in our computer. Now, how you can reset your password using command prompt? If attacker succeeds in gaining administrative privileges, he or she can reset the password of any non-administrative account using command prompt. As you can see here in screenshot, they have typed net space user and in the, this is the result in the next command they have typed net space user the result is copied here then star and so it has shown type a password for the user we will do it in our command prompt run as administrator type net space user Yes, the same. It has showed this user accounts for laptop slash. This is my user. And if I want to reset NetSpace user, copy this. Sorry. Space star. The username could not be found as I have not created any password for my Windows. But if you will create a password for your Windows, then if you have password on a Windows, then it will show a type of password for the user. I have showed how net user has done his work. So you can change your password from command prompt. There is some escalation tool also, which is password changer. <clears throat> now we will learn what is keylogger. Keylogger is basically a software and hardware which stores your keystrokes. Like suppose you have typed one, two, three, four, five, six from your keyboard. So keylogger software will store one, two, three, four, five, six means if you've typed plus if you if you have typed minus if you have done any numeric value it will store everything you have opened google chrome and type facebook.com so it will also store facebook.com it will store your username and password the practical is ahead but in theory i have told you everything about hardware software it it stores each keystroke as user types on a keyboard there are two types of keyloggers, hardware and software, are available in the market. Hardware keyloggers are this. There is a tool, all in one keylogger, also available in the market. I personally use RDMX keylogger. There are so many keyloggers are available for Windows as well as Mac. Mm -hmm. A Mac keylogger. Keyloggers for Mac are also available. What is spyware? Spyware is a program that records user interaction with the computer, like it hides into computer spy in the second point you can see spyware hides its process files and other objects in order to avoid detection and removal that's why it is named spyware 
spyware is as a tool spy tech spy agent spy, power spy 2014 there are some other spies that are available in the internet the different different spywares are available for usb usb spy audio spyware video spywares cell phone spywares telephones spywares gps spywares available are huh? network we will do the practicals on keylogger spywares trojans in our practical sessions i hope you have learned about keyloggers and other terminologies of hacking thank you see you in the next video hello guys you are learning certified ethical hacking and i am sunil gupta in previous videos we have learned some terminologies about spywares and uh, sam files etc in this video i am going to teach you about some other terminologies like rootkits what are rootkits rootkits are programs that hide their presence as well as attackers malicious activities granting them full access to the server or host at the time and also in future means they hide their presence like spywares and they do malicious activities in a pc like if you have saved your password in your browser so rootkits can extract those passwords like we generally we store or save passwords of linkedin facebooks in our browser so they are stored in our browsers and rootkits are the programs which can extract those types of rootkits are these hypervisor hardware kernel bootloader application and library level rootkits <clears throat> rootkits some rootkits are avatar is available neckers is available as a cell is available zero access is available these are some rootkits now what is technography technography is a technique suppose if you want to send a message inside a file or inside an image or inside a video then this process is called technography means if you send an image which contains a message but some other person cannot read that message that process is called technography classification of technography is there that there are so many types of technography like image document folder video audio you can hide your message into these folders images videos etc there is technography tool is available snow and if you want to do image technography we have a tool like a uh, quick stago like this we will do this tool in our practical session to hide a message in image there are some other tools are also available and uh, in this document technography is w stago uh, in this module system hacking we will also use our new operating system kali linux and i will use metasploit in kali linux to hack windows from linux operating system you will also get in our practical session so these are our technography and rootkits the terminologies i have explained everything now i will show you some practicals on these terminologies hope you are learning and gaining information thanks see you in the next video hi guys this is sonal gupta and you are learning certified ethical hacking course version 9 we have done with our theory part of system hacking now we are here for our practical part the first tool i want to use is ops crack which is password cracking tool and which extract passwords from sam file you know so i have downloaded this oph crack and i'm going to run it it is oph crack if you want to you have to click on load and click on local sam with samdom2 it is saying that make sure oph crack is running with administrative rights okay so first of all close it click on right click run as administrator yes yeah so if you want to extract information from your sam file click on load and click on sam with samdom2 yes 
as you can see it has sent us the hashes of our password these are the hashes you can crack these hashes from online because these are NTLM hashes and uh, it is your user this is your password just save this password in a file you can save in your desktop like pass file save here we go it is a our pass file click on this and open with the notepad here you go so this part is your password of windows you can use online tools online websites to crack this ntlm hash it's very simple our aim was the was to extract information from database and we have done it so this is our oph crack OPH crack is very important this tool can be asked in the our ceh version 9 exam so learn how to use it and i have explained everything about OPH crack there is one other tool which is stagnography tool quick stack and how you can hide a message in an image file suppose this is an image file and i want to hide the message like hi i am sunil gupta ethical hacker i want to save so first of all click on hide text the text message is now hidden in image now save image desktop pay i saved it here we go here it is now i send this message is image to my friend on internet suppose i'm i'm his friend and i get this image from him but i don't see any type of message in it right so i will open again quick style and will load this image open image from desktop this is as you can see our message has been extracted from that image and your friend can see the secret message inside the image so this is quick struggle which is the part of technography